Hi there, I'm your host, Schmitty, and I'm kind of excited to be here. Oh, good. I'm just relieved that Mackenzie isn't playing after that stunt she pulled last week. <laughs> Let's get to it. This is round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Let's start this show. The first prompt is a very unnecessary surgery. Okay, pick your favorite. And next, the worst slogan for an erectile dysfunction pill. Vote on your devices. Next up, a realistic, honest fast food slogan. It's voting time. Coming up next, a good place to hide boogers. Time to vote. <laughs> Next in line, the worst thing for an evil witch to turn you into. Vote on your devices. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. Mm. 
On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Take a look. Our first prompt is three things are certain in life death, taxes, and blank. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. And next is. The first thought that runs through your head when a lobster clamps onto your genitals. It's voting time. Okay, next one. Life would be so much better if we all lived in blank. Time to vote. Next one, the worst Viking, Eric the Blank. Vote on your devices. And next is the real reason the dinosaurs died. Time to vote. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. This is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Your prompt is something that's made worse by adding cheese. Here's what everybody wrote. Okay, in round three, you get to award three votes. You can give them all to one answer or spread them out.
Nom 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 nom. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. Welcome to Quiplash. Population, you guys. Okay, good. Now, if I don't remember your names, please feel free to take it personally. This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Okay, here we go. First up, in the future, RoboCop actually retires from the police force and becomes Robo Blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Okay, next one. Something that absolutely doesn't make you think of a penis on some level. It's voting time. Coming up next. Why are geese such jerks? Vote on your devices. <laughs> Next up, a birthday present you shouldn't get for your grandmother. Time to vote. Next in line, 
The most disgusting breakfast cereal, Blank Flakes. It's voting time. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Hey. Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. First one, a bad name for a pet goldfish. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Best part of turning 100 years old. Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. The only five words in your obituary in the newspaper. Time to vote. A new word for people that drive too slow in the fast lane. It's voting time. Coming up next, the type of life they'll probably find on Mars. Vote on your devices.
Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. And now, round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. The last lash prompt is... A terrible sportscaster catchphrase for when somebody dunks a basketball. Let's see the responses. Give out your votes now. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. Okay, I'm Schmitty, and you are about to play Quiplash. Lucky you. Now, those can't be real names. Come on, get serious. We're trying to play a game here. Time for round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it.
Let's take a look. Starting things off, come up with a name for a rock band made up entirely of baby ducks. Okay, pick your favorite. Next in line, a little known way to get gum out of your hair. Time to vote. Next up, a possible entry in Gary Busey's dream journal, Tonight I Dreamed Blank. It's voting time. Next one, a name for a sexy turtle. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, a terrifying fortune cookie fortune. Time to vote. Next up, the perfect day off is just 12 straight hours of blank. It's voting time. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. The drama. Okay, here we go. First up, the worst name for a rap artist. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. And 
next is you shouldn't get a massage at a place called blank. Vote on your devices. In the future, moviegoers will flock to see Jurassic Park 10, blank. Time to vote. Next in line, helpful advice you would give to Super Mario. It's voting time. Okay, next one. The last thing you'd want to find in your air ducts. Vote on your devices. What an alarm clock could say that would wake you right up. It's voting time. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. The prompt is... A good post-music career for Justin Bieber. Everybody's in. Hand out your votes.
That's all. Now for the final scores. That's spelled S C H MIDI. Well, slap your uncle and get on a camel, because here we go. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Let's start this show. Our first prompt is George W. Bush and Dick Cheney's rap duo name. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next up, a Socrates quote that nobody bothered to write down. Time to vote. Michelangelo said as he chiseled David's penis. Vote on your devices. Next in line, the best thing to use when you're out of toilet paper. It's voting time. Coming up next, the worst material from which to make a pair of pajamas. Vote on your devices.
next one? Another name for the Grand Canyon. Time to vote. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> it's now time for round two. Everything is worth double, twice as much. Take a look. First one, a weird thing to find in your grandparents' bedside table. Okay, pick your favorite. you hope the Mars rover finds. Vote on your devices. Next up, after the Heimlich Maneuver, the second best way to stop someone from choking. It's voting time. Next in line, a weapon that should be added to the game Clue. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, a good name for a pet cemetery. Time to vote. Okay, next one. The biggest issue facing the town of Margaritaville. Vote on your devices.
that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. This is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Our prompt is... A theme for a desk calendar that wouldn't sell very well. And here's what you did. Vote away. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores. Hi there, I'm Schmitty, and I truly hope that you all consider me to be an acquaintance. 
And remember, win at any cost. Any cost. Ready? This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Okay, here we go. The first prompt is, like plutonium or einsteinium, what would you name the next periodic table element they discovered? Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. What's black and white and red all over? It's voting time! Coming up next, the worst air freshener scent. Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. Something in a weirdo's bedroom. Time to vote! <laughs> Next up, the worst thing to hear from your GPS in two miles blank. It's voting time! name for the ukulele. Vote on your devices. in the books. Let's see the scores.
time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Okay, it's time for some quiplashing. Starting things off, on the seventh day, God rested. On the eighth day, he blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next one, a rejected safety technique for when you catch fire was to stop, drop, and blank. It's voting time. Next in line, something you'd be surprised to see a donkey do. Time to vote. Coming up next, make up the title of a movie that is based on the first time you had sex. Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. The weirdest thing a restroom attendant could offer you. It's voting time. Next up, a Starbucks coffee that should never exist. Vote on your devices. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. (laughs) 
This is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Our last lash prompt is... The worst thing that happened on Noah's Ark. Okay, soak it in. Vote with your votes now. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. This is Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, and you're an acceptable group of players. Remember, there is nothing between you and victory but your own brain. So, uh, yeah. Hey, somebody's gotta win, right? This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it.
Let's take a look. Our first prompt is make up a name for a silent film porno from the 1920s. Okay, pick your favorite. And next is, what happens when you finally make eye contact with the crazy person on the subway? Time to vote. And next, we should combine Minnesota and Wisconsin and call them blank. It's voting time. Next one, the one thing that isn't better dipped in chocolate. Vote on your devices. Next in line, how they really select the next pope. Time to vote. Okay, next one. The most stereotypical country song title. It's voting time. <laughs> That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Round two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled. Let's start this show. First up, a faster way to get home from the Land of Oz is to click your heels three times and say blank. 
Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Advice, never stick your tongue into blank. Vote on your devices. Next up, a punchline for a joke that would make children cry. Time to vote. <laughs> Coming up next, a good improvement to make to Mount Rushmore. Vote on your devices. Life hack, lower your heating bills by... It's voting time! Something you should never say as the captain of a bowling team. <laughs> Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. And now, round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Your last lash prompt is... What you would expect Justin Bieber's line of fragrances to smell like. Ready to look. Apply your votes.
That's all. Now for the final scores. Alright, a gang of four. Please tell me you're not another group of hackers. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. Alright, to steal Nike's tagline, let's do this. <sighs> Hi, I'm your host, Todd. Today I learned that T-I-L stands for Today I Learned. The internet is full of wonder. Here's a quick but skippable tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a... Social media site.
Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Do you regret your decisions? It's too late now. Who looks the most ridiculous here? Place your vote now. Let's see how everybody voted. This is who burned you. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Oh dear. No. Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to a job networking site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. Here's your clay. Now mold it into something beautiful. Is anyone else's heart racing right now?
Here are your candidates. Now place your votes. Here's what people think. Let's see what that round did to things. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to a social networking site. It's time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. All right, let's do the twist. Okay, you knuckleheads. Here we go. Do your civic duty and vote now. And here are the results. Woof, I'm glad I'm not you. <laughs> Let's check out the scoreboard, shall we? Let's end things at a... Photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen. Here is your last prompt. It's the last round, so don't hold anything back. Gulp. It all comes down to this.
Okay, time to vote. Let's see who got the points. Awkward. It all comes down to this. Congrats, but don't be too proud of yourself. Let's start things off at a check-in site. So you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. Here goes nothing. Which of these made you laugh the hardest? Vote now.
let's see who got the votes. Here's who twisted your words. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Here's the order of who I think is cool from top to bottom. Great. Now let's go to a web forum. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Ready or not, here we go. As P. Diddy would say, vote or die. Okay, here are the verdicts. So that just happened. Okay, let's see what that round does. Let's keep this party train moving and go to a e-commerce site.
Another prompt is headed your way. Now get to it. You know the drill. We go again. Go ahead and vote. I'll give you a sticker afterwards. See who got the points. Let's check the scoreboard. We only have time for one more, so let's end it at a photo sharing site. And points are worth double this round. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do.
it's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time. Our journey has led us to this moment. It's voting time. And here are the results. Oh man, it all comes down to this. And here's who the winner, I guess, is? Yeah, sure, let's call it that. <laughs> 